This week I'm going to tell you about the friend that I have that I never wanted, my friend Gordo. We're talking about the gift. Welcome back to Monday Morning Critic. I am Chris Lee Kennedy, and this week we are breaking down the new thriller, The Gift, and the friend that I have that I never wanted. Okay, he might give me good gifts, but I'll get back on that in a minute. This is a thriller. It is written by, directed by, and starring Joel Edgerton. A lot of times when actors start writing, um, there can be really interesting, but then when they write and direct and star, sometimes it's a real lot and the project seems to fall apart. However, that is not the case with The Gift. The Gift also stars Jason Bateman and Rebecca Hall. It is about a young couple who moves to a new neighborhood. They're moving to the new neighborhood, but it's obviously a neighborhood that Jason Bateman has lived in in the past. They're trying to start a family, and they have this great marriage, and everything's working out great, and they run into um, someone that went to high school with Jason Bateman, who apparently he wasn't very nice to because he starts getting really creepy, like fatal attraction creepy, like instantly um, and he starts off by leaving a gift a red envelope and a bottle of wine which is also what he gave me i mean couldn't he think of a better gift for me since he already gave it to them but he didn't but anyway um he leaves them the gift and then uh you know everything just kind of snowballs after that it, it is a great thriller i am not a horror fan i am not necessarily a person who likes to be scared but this was so intense and so smart and so well done that I loved it. And I was so scared that like I was hiding in my sweatshirt like this and then there was a jump scare and I literally punched myself in the face. Like no joke, thought I broke my glasses. So do not keep your fists close to your face while you're watching this movie. I like the fact that it plays around a lot with who you think the bad guy is and if the person you think is bad is really bad or if they're just trying to do the right thing. Um, and I enjoyed that because it makes you think the whole time. Joel Edgerton, by the way, is like unrecognizable as Gordo. He looks nothing like he does in real life. He's super handsome in real life. And he's so creepy in this movie. Everything about him, his mannerisms, the way he walked, the way he talked, everything was just uber creepy. And Jason Bateman, I, I love Jason Bateman. I loved him in Disconnect and he's done such a great job of playing so many different roles. And this role I think might be one of my favorites for him because he kind of has to play with a lot of different emotions and a lot of different sides and it's really fun. And Rebecca Hall really kind of held everything together and becomes, at the beginning of the movie, she, you kind of think she's just the wife and, and kind of like the secondary character, but she really kind of becomes a really strong female character, which is really fun to watch. One of the really fun things about this is when I went to the screening, beginning of the screening, they were doing these fun little Twitter things and Instagram things on the big screen. And uh, your friend Gordo, Gordo tweets people. Like if you talk about the gift, he will tweet you. And when I was sitting at the movie theater all by my lonesome, some random stranger came up and gave this to me. And it was a note from my friend Gordo who said it was wonderful seeing me at the theater and he wanted to grab coffee soon. And he gave me a gift card, which was super cool. Um, but I don't know Gordo, so that was kind of creepy. And it sticks exactly with the movie because he's super creepy in the movie. Just in case you want more, don't forget that I just interviewed the cast of The Gift on our Regal channel and it is hilarious, number one. And number two, I stuck with the really creepy theme of the movie and I creeped all of them out. And if you want to know how, you have to watch the interview because it's really fun. All right, guys, as you can tell, I really enjoyed the gift and I want you to go check it out so you can be as creeped out as I was and potentially punch yourself in the face because everyone should do that at the movies. And for one of you, one special viewer, I have a gift for you. So go down in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite thriller is and we will pick a random winner and I will send you a creepy gift. That's the theme of the movie. Next week, I will be reviewing either Guy Ritchie's Man from Uncle or Straight Out of Compton. That's it. I'll see you guys next week on Monday Morning Critic.